Imagine going for a blood test and thinking everything is fine, only to find out later that something serious was quietly developing in your liver. That's why, especially as we get older, relying only on blood test results can be a dangerous mistake. Those numbers can fluctuate up and down, and while they may look reassuring at first, they don't always tell the full story. For younger people, blood tests might be enough. But once age becomes a factor, blood tests alone are not reliable. You need to combine them with scans to get the real picture of what's going on inside your body. Now here's the part many people don't know. Even though the liver has an amazing ability to regenerate, that doesn't mean it can protect itself from the long-term damage caused by hepatitis B or C. The reality is that one out of every four people living with hepatitis B may eventually develop cirrhosis or even liver cancer. And the scary part, we can't predict when it will happen. It could take 10 years, it could take 20. And right now, we don't have the tools to identify who is truly at risk. That's why regular screening is absolutely critical. If you've ever been diagnosed with hepatitis B or C, the global recommendation is clear. At least one ultrasound scan every single year, along with blood tests every six months. But not just any blood test. The most important one is the viral PCR test. Unlike antibody tests that stay positive for life and can mislead you, the PCR test reveals whether the virus is still active and roaming around inside your liver. Without that, you're only guessing. Here's the smart approach. Start with a yearly scan. If the doctors see any changes, the frequency should be increased to every six months. The key is not just doing the test once, but being consistent over time. Because the truth is, many people wait until symptoms appear, and by then, it might already be too late. And let's not forget lifestyle. When hepatitis combines with fatty liver, often due to frequent drinking or poor habits, the risk of cirrhosis skyrockets. But that doesn't mean everyone with fatty liver or hepatitis will definitely end up with cirrhosis. In fact, many live for years without developing it. The problem is we simply don't know who will and who won't. So the safest thing you can do for yourself is this. Commit to regular scans, commit to consistent testing, and don't rely on one-off results. Because catching danger early is always better than being caught by surprise later. And if you found this video helpful, don't keep it to yourself. Share it with someone who needs this information. Hit that like button, subscribe for more health updates, and check out our other videos on liver health and viral infections. Your awareness today could save a life tomorrow.